Hello everyone, what's up? Today we are here again to do one more video and I'm going to tell you the three things that I used when I was learning English at the beginning and I still use that. So that's why I'm bringing it to you. First of all, if you didn't watch my previous video, it's really important for you to watch before watch this one. But it's up to you if you want to watch it before or later. It's really good to watch that video first because then you are going to have something to compare to check if you are going in the right direction and you will not be like this kind of person who is studying English for one, two, three years only and then you give up in the middle of the way because you think English is not for you. And that's not what I want here in the channel. I want to motivate you to see that it's possible. You just need to put effort and be patient. As always, I will try to make this video as short as possible because I always try to respect everybody's time. I know everybody's in, uh, always in a rush with college, with work, with kids, whatever you do in your life. So let's do it. And the first thing I recommend to you is going to be listen to English. When I say that, I mean 100% English because most of the people, they, they tend to translate English into their own language. And that's not my suggestion. What I suggest to you is put movies, music, whatever you feel more comfortable. What I do, I just go on Netflix, I watch movies and series a lot and I put them in English. Once you start listening things only in English, you start putting it into your mind, even if you don't understand everything at the beginning. I know because I passed through this process as well when I was learning. And that's really important because once you start talking and you start learning proper English, you will see that's going to help you a lot. So that's my recommendation. Put things in English and try to avoid the translation as much as possible because as, as everybody knows, English and Portuguese, for example, they are totally different language. So as if you try to mix them out, you are going, it's going to be a mess to learn. It's much easier and it's going to be faster for you if you put English into your mind as much as you can. The second thing I'm going to bring to you today is going to be read. And when I say read, it can be read and write together. Just start with a small sentence, a paragraph, page of the book. You can go to the website newspaper, the foreigner newspaper magazine just take a subject that you like to read and then you start reading it you can write it down you just separate a small sentence or a paragraph as much as you can and you write it down you can also pick a word or a sentence from this text and then you can write the translation and the translation of course it's always nice and good for you if you use the translation in english as well the more you do that the more you're gonna put the English in your mind. And if you wanna have an English to, even if you wanna go for a trip or you want to f have conf confidence to talk in a job interview, let's say, sometimes it depends of the process. In my case, when I went to the airline, I had to write uh, a small text in English. So it's really good to practice this thing as well. And that's my recommendation. You can just go and start step by step writing a small sentence, some word, write the meaning and avoid the translation as much as you can. The third thing I'm bringing to you today, in my opinion, is going to be the most important thing to practice. It's going to be talk. There is no option. If you don't talk, you will never be able to be confident enough to talk in English. Many of my friends, they, they say something like this. I understand English when someone is talking and when I'm listening, listening to music, when I read as well a newspaper or magazine, I'm able to understand all the meaning, but I cannot talk. And then I reply to them, how many hours in your entire life you have spent talking in English to someone? How many hours, how many months, years, whatever. So that's why I'm telling you, if you want to have confidence to talk, communicate perfectly in English, you have to talk. There is no other option. So what should I do in this case? 
that's why I believe to practice your communication is going to be the most difficult part if you are in Brazil because it's hard to find someone to talk in English but try to make friends who speak English especially if you know someone who is a native speaker if you don't have any you try to look for it on the internet go to this website just try to arrange something make a friend talk on Skype on WhatsApp Instagram Facebook there are lots of options today and for me the best option would be to go abroad that's what I did in, in the first place and but I know it's not everybody who can just leave everything and go it's something that you have to plan before and I'm going to make a video exclusively talking about it about how to make an internship without having money because that's what I did basically if you are looking for some class English class try to find a teacher who is a native speaker I know there are some it's not easy to find maybe it's going to be more expensive to you but it's possible and if you have this option go for it and guys if you like the videos I'm making here in the channel I just ask you to subscribe leave your thumbs up comment below which stage you are if you started learning already what kind of problem you are facing what's your strategy to learn I'm be I will be more than happy to answer to you as soon as possible thank you and obrigado